This is Extra Time, presented by Purina. Welcome to Extra Time, where for the rest of the hour, we are bringing you exclusive coverage of St. Louis City SC. I'm Tamar Share. Three matches in eight days. That is what City SC is in the midst of. They started with a huge home win over the Chicago Fire. Then on Wednesday, they were shut out by LAFC. But luckily, they don't have to dwell on that loss very long. Tomorrow night, they're on the road facing FC Cincinnati. They operate with wing backs as opposed to outside backs. Uh, so these are slightly variables that we have to look at. Um, but again, I think a lot of teams we faced building a different uh, formation, defending a different formation and attacking a different way. So, you know, I think we would have seen a version of this type of uh, game uh, in the last couple of weeks. So, you know, we'll pull that film. We'll take some Cincinnati stuff and, and look at, you know, how we can penetrate, capitalize and, um, you know, make sure that we are uh, competitive out there in Cincy. One player making his minutes count this season is midfielder Rasmus Alm. After struggling with injury last season, Alm is healthy this year and recently had the fastest goal in City SC history. Our Jacob Sersasmo sits down one-on-one -on -one with Alm. Well, Rasmus, thanks for joining us today. Not too long ago, you guys were right here at City Park on Wednesday night. Tough loss, a lot of emotion in that game. You on the pitch, how do you manage that much emotion in one game? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you just have to try to control your emotions but it's hard sometimes but I think we did good we gave it our all and and, and unfortunately we couldn't win the game but I think we put our hearts out that on that pitch. Now you don't have to sit in that loss for very long you already have another match on Saturday three matches in eight days recovery wise what is your secret to recovery some guys focus on sleep some guys focus on other things what do you focus on when recovering on a quick turnaround? Uh, but I think it's important just to, yeah, like you said, to sleep good and to eat good and then all the equipment we have to use that and take help with uh, trainers and stuff. Your thoughts on Cincinnati on Saturday. What kind of challenge does that team bring to you guys? Uh, last year when I played them, it was at home and uh, we won 5-1. So I have uh, just positive vibes for this game. So, but yeah, they're a good team and we have to prepare our best to to try to win. All right, you've played a lot of soccer in your life. What's the fastest goal you've ever scored? Uh, I think it was this one. Was it? Yeah, the last weekend, but yeah, the, I think so. The first two minutes of the game, what did you see on that goal? I mean, some people were probably just getting in their seats and you already scored. What did you see there to kind of make that happen? Uh, we watched uh, some clips of their goalie before the game and they said that he was always quite far out from his goal line and when I got the opportunity, I just tried to hit it. Yeah, I tried to just aim for the target, and yeah, luckily it went in. You've been able to settle in here in St. Louis a little bit, being here last year. What did you kind of learn from being here for last year that you can bring into this season? Uh, I think last year was a quite tough year for me with uh, my injury and, and all what that came with. And feel I feel fresh, I feel healthy, and uh, yeah, so for me it's so different from last year to now, because now I feel like myself again. All right, I'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit here. You've been in St. Louis for some time now. Say you got a friend flying in, coming to visit you. What are maybe the top two things you're gonna take him to do here in St. Louis? Some of the things that you enjoy doing in the city. I think with the kids, we go to the zoo, and, uh, and then coming here. Appreciate your time, Rasmus Alm. We'll see him back on the pitch on Saturday against Cincinnati. We'll send it back to you. Thank you both. Mental health is part of all of our lives. St. Louis City SE continues to celebrate Mental Health Awareness Month by working to break the stigma around mental health. Captain Roman Berkey shares what has helped him tackle the struggle last season into this season. I've never had a, a season that long without the break, you know, really. So um, I was really tired in my head the last couple of games we had. I just felt really burned out that way. And uh, so what I learned now is also like, don't waste too much energy on things that didn't go your way, way, you know, like after losses, being angry for too long or shouting around, you know, trying to figure out what went wrong. At the end of the day, it's like, you have to keep that energy because the season is so long. Don't stay too long 
in that game, like, oh, I, we should have done this better, we should have done this better. We have coaches who are doing uh, really good analysis, so I don't need to do that by myself. When I say I don't care that much anymore, it's like, it's not for everyone, you know? Like, you have to know when to care, what people are important. And uh, I talk to the team as well, like I said, I don't really care what people think of me outside this building. I think it's always important that you are confident with yourself, but at the same time that you still are able to get criticized and not like see it as, a, as an attack on you personally. To watch the full interview with Berkey, go to www.tacklethestruggle.org.